Juicy fruit is gonna move ya. The juice is soft, it gets right to ya. Juicy fruit, the taste, the taste, the taste is gonna move ya. Y'all remember those commercials from the 80s? <laughs> good morning, ladies and gents. Chris here from DE Razor Shaving with a new shave video. How y'all doing? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. So yeah, back in the day, if you guys don't know, back in the 80s and like the 90s, the gum commercials were like on and they had marketing and everything. There was Juicy Fruit, there was Big Red, a big, no little cinnamon gum compared Pairs better to Big Red. Yeah. Big Red freshness fast right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on. While you chew it, say goodbye a little longer. Make it last a little longer. You guys remember those commercials? Double, mint, double, double your refreshment. Uh, we could do this all day, but yes, I am a child of the 80s, so I remember those commercials. They had awesome marketing. Where the hell are we going with this? All right, let's just get straight into this. So, today is actually Wednesday. It's 1045 a.m. on Wednesday. It's my birthday and I played hooky and I didn't go to work. Don't tell anybody. All right, so yes, <laughs> it's Wednesday. I called out sick. I'm not working on my birthday. So here we go. Here's going to do the shave today. So DE Razor we're going to be going with. We're going to be going with my Aylesworth, not mine, Matt Fox's Aylesworth Dracant Razor. And this is the Open Comb Plate 0 0.99 millimeter forward slash 0 0.25 millimeter razor five days worth of growth so i thought let's try the open comb so we got a lot of talking in this one today too got a lot of talking it's like you see this i could pull this open it's like really really machined well and like sticks in there really good so don't lose a washer this time all right here's what the plate looks like so you guys can see it it's reversed it's the same on both sides so upside down blah 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 so this is made in usa number 0438 plus plate so that is what we're going with de blade we're going to be going with we're going to be going with tatara de blade all right and this is a fourth use tatara de blade let's see how fourth goes this just got dust on it because it's sitting in a medicine cabinet for a few weeks so fourth use tatara de blade put that on here Hold it in there like I normally do. Let me put my washer on there. Yeah, it's made with a washer, so you could put a washer on there. It fits. It fits. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. No overhang. You guys seen the last time I did all the specs on it. I'm not going to go through all the specs again. This is the Open Comb Plus plate. Uh, the you can't handle. And yeah, 316 stainless steel. So that is a razor we're gonna be going with. Brush we're gonna be going with. We're gonna go with my AKA Brushworks Barbie brush. Uh, the AP Shave Co. 26 millimeter cashmere bulb synthetic. Not that I knotted into it. I already have it already loaded. So yes, if I put it a bowl, there's a brush. There's a soap we're gonna be going with. So I already have it loaded. Now, here's where we get into some talking points. So this came with this. It says, Happy Holidays and Merry Shave Miss. From your friendly neighborhood artesian shave makers, Douglas, Fran, Huxley, and Team Phoenix Shaving. Where did you go? So a couple weeks ago, it was on December 6th, I checked the mail. And I didn't order anything shave-wise online. I've been saving my money. I've been, you know, getting, getting, getting ready to use the Christmas stuff that I already have. So I checked the mail. I was like, a PAA box. I was like, the hell is this? I didn't order anything. I think in my head, I'm like, did I order something? Did I order something? No. Did I get like an EDP? No. What the hell? So I open it up and I look in there and I'm like, what the hell is this? So <laughs> I was dumbfounded. I messaged Douglas. I go, what is this dude? And I'm like, you sneaky, sneaky man. So he sent me this and he sent a couple other people this too. Um, uh, admins in the Facebook group, Phoenix Shaving. Phoenix Shaving Fan Club, by fans, for fans. I know they all got a set as well. I think other people did. I'm not sure who else did. I know for sure us admins in the Phoenix Phoenix Shaving Group did get them. And it is Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements Bay Gum. I'm like, what the hell? And what freaks me out about this, before this got sent, like opened it and sent it to me in the mail, a few weeks ago, I, before this, I was actually thinking, man, it would be kind of cool if somebody came out with like a gum-scented Soap. It just popped in my head for some reason, and I opened the mailbox, and there is one. <laughs> Get out of my head, Doug. <laughs> so yes, this is Bay Gum. So yesterday, um, it's Tuesday, 
it was day six of the advent calendar. So an advent calendar, um, Bay Gum came out and Douglas messaged me. He's like, you can do a video on that now. I was like, dude, I've been waiting to do a video. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, so I've been holding on to this, like biting at the, chomping at the bit, trying to do a video review. He's like, not yet, dude, don't do it yet. Nope, don't do it, wait, now you can do it. So yes, talking points on this one. <clears throat> the scent profile, uh, Bay Gum, juicy fruit. Yep, that is the scent profile. Damn, I had a lot written down. Bay Gum. Uh, yet to be released. I have a lot written down. Okay. Bay gum yet to be released. Scent profile. Juicy fruit. Yep. Select West Indian herbs, spices, and citrus notes. Can you believe juicy fruit is 130 years old? I kid you not. It was re first released in 1893. Talk about staying power, right? I'd like to claim credit for this mashup, but all credit goes to Dave Johnson of Fragrance Bros fame on YouTube. Uh, Dave is known for his known and nose and knowledge of fine fragrances, so this might seem off to him to have a hand in. It's, this might seem odd to odd for him to have a hand in, but trust me, it's all him. I believe the story goes he was wearing Atomic Age Bay Rum while chewing juicy fruit, and it just clicked. Um, a classic Reese's type moment for sure we currently have no date chosen for this release yet but if the demand is there we will make it happen sooner or sooner than later so yes it will be coming out sometime soon i don't i don't know when <clears throat> fun fact the first item to be scanned using a upc code was a package of juicy fruit gum on june 26 1974 the first ever barcode was scanned as part of a, of a transaction today trillions of codes officially called universal product codes upc exist worldwide so yeah juicy fruit was the first one to be scanned that trips my mind out what does it smell like dude Atomic Age Bay Rum and Juicy Fruit Gum. It is balanced, like, perfectly. Like, you get the Bay Rum, you get the Juicy Fruit. You get the Bay Rum, you get the Juicy Fruit. It's not like one or the other is really overpowering to me. Off the top, I don't know how the splash is. I haven't opened it yet. That smells awesome. I personally think this is going to be a really good one. CK6. And, yes, this is really, really cool. Um, label, you got the guy on the helm right there. And then you have right here. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to read that. But it does say... Dave Johnson. So he came, I don't know if he came up with the artwork, but I know he came up with like the scent. So unique artesian shave soap. This is what we're going to be using today. And I scraped barely, 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 not even, not even an almond size amount is what I scraped. So enough talking. Let's get into it. I got it in the bowl. Wet the face. The water was warm. All right. Wet face. Might be a long video, but again, got a lot of talking points. I want to educate you guys on products that I use, not just shave and go by. What? Oh. Pre-shave, peach cube, immortal peach. The ink artist in the accoutrement, immortal peach. Is this a gum scented soap? Yeah, bubblegum peach, yeah, sounds good, right? Five days growth too, so this is a good, this is a good, what was the word I would say on that? This is a good medium, I don't know. This is a good start. I didn't think of the freaking right word. Having five days worth of growth is good for using this razor. I want to try it with it's more of a, I guess it's a more aggressive plate than the regular one. It's open comb too. So that's why I wanted to go. I can't think of the word. What, what word am I thinking of? A good, not a good medium, a good start, a good palette. Oh, there's that, there's that word right there. I can't figure it out. Having five days growth is good for trying to use this open comb razor. All right, so here's my soap. Ooh, yeah, so no video, no pauses, nothing. Ah, uh, Atomic Age Bay Rum and Juicy Fruit Gum. So yeah, I remember those commercials when I was a kid. Totally remember it. It used to, it almost was, if you guys are familiar, if you're too young, you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. But they were always on the commercials though. There's Juicy Fruit, Double Mint Gum. And Big Red. The Big Red Freshness Knocks Right to. I don't know what he says right there. Your fresh breath goes on and on. While you chew it, say goodbye a little longer. Make it last a little longer. Give your breath long lasting fresh breath with Big Red. Wrigley's. Double Mint. Double Mint was cool too. 
And there's a spearmint one. I don't think they ever did a spearmint commercial though. I don't think the Juicy Fruit, Big Red, and Double Mint. Double Mint gum. Ugh, not to be confused with Mentos. <laughs> Although those were cool commercials too. Yeah, back in the 80s, everyone knew the freaking Juicy Fruit commercial. It doesn't seem like it's a very popular gum back gum anymore. But cool, awesome marketing from the 80s. Some water in there. Mm-hmm. I think we're good. Mm. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, and I remember the juicy fruit commercials. Um, you know, the way they would. Hang on. Got the water one here. You might not be able to hear me, so give me a sec. All right, there's the hot water. Don't need any alum on my fingers. Pass number one. Juicy fruit commercials, they'd be like skiing or, I mean, water skiing. It's like summertime, sun. Ooh, that bites. That bites pretty good. I got some of my sideburn in there, though. Ooh. Oh, my God. Yeah, gone. Nice. This is my second impression of this razor. So, yeah. Juicy fruit commercials. And then they when they would eat the, would chew the gum, they would so exaggeratingly chew the gum. Like, total exaggeration. Like, you got the stick of gum. They pull out a package, they would just like, like f dramatically fold it into your mouth. Just like, with the gum is like, really? But is they're trying to market chewing gum. So yeah, uh, good times back then. Eighties and nineties, this seems smooth. But yeah, five days worth of growth. I wanted to use the open comb, so yeah. Fourth use Tatara DE blade does not seem bad. It said on the website that it goes for, you can use it four to eight shaves. So this will be shave number four. And I'm just trying to be careful with this razor, not going, I know what I'm doing. No. Matt Fox said this is more, a little bit more aggressive than the regular plate. So I'm trying to treat it like it's a, I'm trying to treat it as if it was like a Mula R41. I know it's probably not that crazy aggressive, but it's always good to be cautious and wise and listen to someone else that used it before you. And not some cocky, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Cut your damn face right up. <laughs> no, I've never used this plate before. I've used this razor, but I have not used this particular plate before, so... Like Paul H. Films said in one of his old video videos a long, long time ago, using a Mula R41. He's like, you got to respect the metal. <laughs> I know it's an inanimate object. It has no feelings or anything, but you got to have, you got to respect the metal. So, yeah. And who don't like heavy metal? <laughs> All right. Yes. Atomic Age Bay Room and... Juicy fruit. So yes, I've been sitting on this for a couple weeks wanting to use this. Like literally when I opened it, I was like, awesome. <laughs> All right, careful with the neck. All right, don't want to go uh, down on the problem area. For all you who have been following me for a while, you know, but if you just started following me, when I go this way on my neck right here in the jugular area, <laughs> vampire, this is me actually going against the grain. This is me going with the grain. So I have mapped out my beard growth to where I know my face. Not totally though. <laughs> so yeah, this for me right here in this particular area, it's kind of swirly, kind of like this. So I do this, I'm going against the grain. I get ingrown hairs. It's bad. So when I shave, I'll do that and that's it. If I do, even if like a second or third pass, if I do that, I'll get razor bumps. I'll get ingrown hairs because it just shaves way too close.
That's why it's good to grow your beard out a little bit. Even if like a week or two or a couple, you don't have to have a full beard. I mean, just enough so you can see the hairs and which way they're actually growing. Like me, five days, I can easily see which way my, my hair grows. And that is your particular face. There's no one, this isn't wax on, wax off, like <laughs> drift racing. Not everyone is exactly the same, up, down, up, down. Everybody's face is unique and different. Take that was Wi-Fi is messing up. Is the recording? Yeah. All right. This is nice. This is pretty efficient. I'm not saying it's crazy aggressive, and I do have five days growth, but this is nice. All right. I'm right, the Wi Fi's not working. Oh no. Okay. What's that? Gone. Gone, gone, gone. Wow. And this particular plate, I can feel the blade pretty good, like the blade. Little tuggy in my mustache area. That's probably the DE blade, though. It is fourth use on it, so. It said it lasts four to eight shaves. So four might be the limit. All right, good. I made like an hour long video. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay, I got one there. That's it. <clears throat> no nicks, no cuts, no weepers. It's close. Very efficient. One pass is I'm good. All right, I'll clean up and break back. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, very close. Very smooth. Efficient. But good. It's smooth. Yeah, I have one there that cleaned up. Oh, what the hell that is? What the hell is that? Scrape that off. I don't know. Oh. Cat hair or something. I don't know. Anyways. All right. So we're going with PA on black. PA on black. Cold water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see how it goes. Nope. Nothing. Cold water. And yeah, alum, if you don't use enough water, it'll, it'll stick. Which is pretty good because... That's why you use it for your fingers if you want to get a good grip for like your razor. But yeah, it's gonna naturally stick if you don't have enough water. Or band. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Can I do? Spit out the bed, can I do? I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Can I do? You guys remember that one? <laughs> And then the girl, hey, I don't know what she said. <laughs> All right. After she in Cologne. Cologne? Is it German? No, Cologne. Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements Begum. Begum. And I haven't even opened this yet, so I don't even know how this one's going to be. Yeah, see? Still got the safety seal on there. I mean, I can smell it through the safety seal, but... Oh, pull that off. Have not used this yet. I'm gonna give a nice, fur, nice, thorough, good review of it. So, Bay Roman freaking juicy for It's cool. All right. Let's use a lot because we use a lot here. Yes, use a lot. I like to use a lot. Oh, yum. Mmm. Yes, it's like it's like the soap. But it's balanced nice. It's balanced really, really good. I don't get one. I don't get one cent more than the other. Okay, with the dry down now. <coughs> with the dry down, I get more. With the dry down, I get more of the bay rum and I get more of the citrus. Okay, so yeah, 
initially when we put it on, I mean, it does have a little bit of that um, juicy fruit scent. I still smell that. But the dry down, I get the West Indian Bay spices and citrus notes. And the um, juicy fruit is just like hanging there, like hanging there right in the background and kind of in the foreground too. This is awesome. I think this one's going to do really good when he comes out with it. And the, yeah. So, yes, yeah, so the Advent Colander. Advent Colander. Colander? Isn't that what you whisper? <laughs> not, not colander cooking. Calendar. Our English language has is really, really weird. I heard it's really hard to learn. So, anyways, I'm going to put on top of that my Atomic Age Oak Barrel Bay Rum EDP. So that's what I'm going to be putting on top of it. So we're going to be very rum in it. See how much I have left? You can tell I'm a, good, I'm a big fan of this stuff. It smells good. That's all we're going to use, just two. Awesome oh, freaking scent. You knocked it out of the park, Doug. Knocked it out of the park, Doug. All right. Recap of what we used today. We used PAA Atomic Age Bay Rum EDP. Two squirts. That's it. Don't go crazy with it. Also use Phoenix Stars and Accoutrements Bay Gum. Unique Artesian Aftershave and Cologne, 100 millimeters. We also used a PAA Aloe Block. We used my AKA Brushworks Barbie with an AP Shave Co. 26 millimeter cashmere bulb synthetic knot that I put in there. That's it. This one does glows. This one glows in the dark too. It's very faint, but yeah, I thought this fit the label pretty damn good. It's a pink brush. I've always wanted a pink brush. Finally got one. Manly. <laughs> DE Razor we did. We went with A's, A's, not the Oakland A's. Ellsworth Dracant Razor Open Comb Plus Plate. First use. And yeah, nice shaver. That's a pretty good shaver. And we also used a fourth use Tatara DE Blade in that one. A little bit tuggy on the mustache area. So right here, it was a little bit tuggy. It's still smooth. It's still uh, shaved well. But yeah, in my mustache area, it was a little bit tuggy. So try to see what uh, Five Shades does with it. All right, I also got this. I already read this for you guys. You can check it out. Panetta Bowl, wood color. Um, scooped with my base pick, PAA. Um, Pre shave we went with was Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Mentholated. It's a nice cooling effect. Immortal Peach Cube. And star of the show that I do not know when is going to be coming out yet. I'm going to make a wrap out of that, huh? Phoenix Artist and Accoutrements Bay Gum. This is, day, this is day six in the advent calendar, which was yesterday. Bay Rum and Juicy Fruit. If you're looking for a soap that smells like gum, bubble gum, Juicy Fruit and Bay Rum. Yeah, this is it. It smells good. Cool. It doesn't seem like novelty-ish to me. This has like a good scent to it. And you get that bay rum, it, it just smells awesome, dude. Yeah, <laughs> this is good. This is awesome. Thank, thank you very much for sending me that and giving me a surprise on that one, Doug. I did not expect to get that. And yeah, all the admins got it too. So that is the shave of the day, ladies and gents. And yeah, so I think I'm, I'm trying to do something for Christmas, but we'll see what happens. So... Hope you ladies and gents have a good day, good week, good shaves. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, everyone. And yeah, check out anything down below, except for this is not going to be down below. I mean, it'll be down below, but there's not going to be a link or nothing. So in the future, future boy, it should be coming out. So I do I do not know when. Honest to God's truth. I have no idea when Doug, gonna, Doug and Fran are going to release that one. So keep your eyes and ears peeled. All right. See you ladies and gents soon. Peace out.